seems to have taken the electric truck market by storm with its affordable Ford Maverick compact truck, and other manufacturers have been paying attention. Nissan is making an effort to re-establish itself in the U.S. market by producing more vehicles that consumers want and, it seems a re-entry into the compact pickup segment is in the cards. Join us as we take a look at everything we know about this new $25,000 Ford Maverick competitor. One important thing to understand before we get started is the relationship between Nissan and Datsun. Datsun was originally founded in 1914 as the DAT Motor Car Company. In 1933, DAT Motors became Nissan Motor Company Limited following a merger with another called JSK Motors. Datsun continues to this day as a separate brand and produced some of the earliest pickups including the 1948 Datsun truck, Datsun 120, and the more recent Datsun Nissan 720. Nissan helped pioneer the compact pickup truck class globally and now wants to help bring it back. With only two current players and a clear appetite for models on the opposite end of the spectrum from the monstrous Ford F-150 and Chevrolet Silverado, there seems to be a clear invitation for newcomers, and Nissan is throwing its hat into the ring to get a piece of the action. According to a report from Automotive News, Nissan is reportedly investigating the possibility of introducing a truck to the lineup that's smaller than the mid-size Frontier pickup, which will finally be redesigned for 2023. At the same time, the brand is working hard to electrify its future products. Nissan has stated that by the start of the next decade, all new vehicles in its most significant markets will be electric. According to market trends, it appears that Nissan may have little choice but to make the new truck electric if they want it to take off. A small electric pickup truck is not a crazy idea, at least not in the way it might have appeared just two years ago. At that time, Ford had just unveiled the F-150 Lightning, GM had unveiled the GMC Hummer EV, and the big three had all announced plans to launch a flurry of EV trucks and SUVs in the coming years. However, with American truck manufacturers focused primarily on the incredibly lucrative full-size pickup market, there's still undoubtedly room for another automaker to go smaller. And of course, Nissan, with its long history of producing smaller vehicles, would be well positioned to benefit from this opportunity. The concept came to Nissan when it sought to reconsider its truck options in light of its growing electric product lineup. Titan sales haven't met expectations, but the Frontier has held up reasonably well, and it might even become better with the new look of the 2022 model. The Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz are also redefining a well-known sector where small trucks are just as cool as big ones. So Nissan has concluded that it's time to revisit its roots. Greg Carrasco, Vice President of Operations at Oakville Nissan in Toronto, explained why a small electric truck could be a big win for Nissan to Automotive News. He claimed that Nissan used to be a unique, intriguing Japanese automaker that enjoyed loyalty for the numerous risks they took with regard to performance and design. He added that as fuel prices increase, many customers are looking for fuel-efficient and reasonably priced pickups since they don't need full-sized trucks. He concluded by saying, early adopters are going to be looking at this space, and if there's any market to be had, now's the time. The concept is also welcomed by Judy Wheeler, Nissan's Division Vice President of Sales and Regional Operations in the United States. While she didn't give much insight as to how serious these talks are internally at Nissan, she admitted to Automotive News, the pickup area is kind of interesting. There will be a consumer that's looking for more of a lifestyle vehicle that they can put all their gear in and go off-roading. So what would the pickup truck look like? Nissan has previously revealed a pickup truck concept that reportedly will be called the Surf Out concept. The Surf Out appears to be a little pickup truck that could fit in the lineup below the Frontier midsize model, although it may be difficult to determine the actual measurements. It features a futuristic appearance, unusual lighting configurations at the front and rear, a minimalist interior, and a huge screen that takes up the entire dashboard. Nissan says it also has some off-road capability thanks to an all-wheel drive setup and some onboard power outlets. When viewed from the top, the truck has a retractable cabin roof that, when closed, resembles the Tesla Cybertruck in design. The company's logo and even the foot pedals inside the automobile are visible thanks to the grille's complete transparency, 
which works well with a striking design. Of course, we're not entirely sure that this is the model that Nissan intends to launch for 25000 but we can imagine that they will incorporate some features here on this alleged compact pickup truck. The development of an electric pickup truck presents numerous challenging issues. The vehicle must be able to tow and haul at least 4,000 pounds of cargo in addition to the massive batteries. Nissan was years ahead of its time in the 70s, releasing some interesting concepts. Believe it or not, Nissan gave the world one of the first ever EV pickups with the EV4 experimental vehicles it showcased in 1971. The EV4P and EV4H prototypes were both pickup trucks with batteries and motors housed inside fiberglass reinforced lightweight plastic bodies. The P had a maximum range of 188 miles, while the H had a maximum range of 308 miles. Nissan has the experience, innovation, and technical know-how to build a tough electric vehicle. They also have some interesting design ideas, as illustrated by the futuristic surf-out concept and company management is clearly on board with plans to add 20 new EVs over the next five years. Don't forget that Nissan has more experience building EVs than many other automakers because it has been producing them for a longer time. Additionally, it ought to be able to make customers understand the advantages of an electric truck quite easily. It's also important to mention that the automaker has a wealth of expertise in producing compact trucks, and it debuted the first one in the US in the late 1950s with the 220 chassis. Nearly 150,000 Leafs had been sold in America as of the vehicle's 10th anniversary in December of last year. While this number was considerably below Tesla's, it was still impressive by any other standard. All those sales also mean Nissan has a lot of experience articulating the appeal and benefits of EVs to its customers, which would be crucial when persuading customers to purchase a completely new type of truck. The Ford Maverick has breathed some life into the American truck market after decades of releasing larger and more expensive trucks year after year. This compact unibody truck is one of the automaker's best-selling models, with order sheets filling up only a few days after going on sale. The Maverick competes in a price bracket filled with relatively boring normal cars and crossover SUVs. It gives anybody with a lower budget the chance to own an exciting daily driver with more utility than they could ever need. It can handle school runs and weekly shopping trips, just as well as it can handle a weekend camping trip or a weekend of home improvements. The Nissan D21, or the hard body as it was known in the States, is a pickup truck that was manufactured by Nissan from 1986 to 1997. It was available in both two- and four-wheel drive configurations. The hard body was replaced by the Nissan Frontier in 1998 in a market where it seemed people just wanted bigger pickups. The popularity of the Ford F-150 forced all other manufacturers to follow suit, and the market has been stuck in this trajectory for the last 30 years. The Japanese giant has sat back to watch how the market received the Ford Maverick. This has allowed them time to truly understand the demand and what customers want, so there should be no doubt that they will deliver something that will be very popular. Tell us in the comments section below, would you like a Nissan that costs the same as the Ford Maverick? Thank you very much for watching today. We would truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, Toyota and tech news.